families, we're so happy to have you here for our final concert of the school year. Uh, we will be having our band students and choir students performing tonight. They have been working diligently all year long for this performance, and they sound wonderful. So it's going to be an exciting conference or a concert. Just a couple of uh, notes in your program. Hopefully, you were able to pick up a program on the back. There is some concert etiquette. Uh, it's important that we honor and respect the diligent and hard work that our students did this year. And so if you could turn your devices to silent, that would be super helpful. Um, if you do need to leave during the performance, it's best if you can leave when a performance ends um, and then exit quietly out the back. Uh, Mrs. Lemons does want you to know so that you can be fully present and engaged. She does, uh, will be recording this whole entire concert and it will be available on her YouTube channel. And she does share those things out, so that way you can relax, enjoy the show, and then you can check it out on YouTube. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Mrs. Lemons. Thank you. 
like almost done with our set. Um, so Concert Band, um, like I mentioned, they've done a lot this year. One thing that not only Concert Band has done, but also all of our symphonic band members is the Solo and Ensemble Festival. It is the second year we've performed this event and kind of put on this whole um, festival at our school. Uh, we hired clinicians to come in and judge our students on an individual or small group solo and ensemble setting. And it's been extremely successful and we're happy to start that again in the future. For our final song, you might also hear this at a sporting event. Uh, it's not necessarily a sing-along, but I'm sure you can get in with us about halfway through the song. Here's our final song from concert band, We Will Rock You.
As we get out our next blockbuster hit, I would like to notice and recognize a few students who are sitting up here who uh, not only are usually part of uh, symphonic band and our jazz band ensemble, but they also audition at a district level to be part of our TSD honor band. If you were selected as honor band alternate or a selection, please stand. and again they were selected as top players within their section for our entire district which is six middle schools total. Um, our next piece, uh, every time I get sick I just put this on and uh, Mr. Lemons helps me out and I feel better but this movie always brings comfort to me. Perhaps you've seen their eight movies. This is uh, a medley from the Harry Potter series.
In three years, we haven't done a song that hard, so I'm very, very, very proud of them right now. Uh, we do have some soloists within that piece, and that's Ian Bowersfeld and Jim Cappy. Please acknowledge them. We're going to shift gears to not John Williams, and we're going to do some pirates of the Caribbean, or however you say that. Everyone says that different for some reason.
sorry. Um, for our final piece, and before we get to the final piece, most of these students are eighth graders, and uh, I'd like to recognize them because this is their final concert for High Plains. If you're an eighth grader on stage, please stand. If you are an eighth grader and have been with me since day one, raise your hand. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Please, please stay in music, whether it be high school band, community band, college band. Stay with this because you're just at the point where you're getting good, <laughs> real good. Like stay, okay? And and some of you have finally found your passion, and you're like, this is something I want to do. So. I encourage you to stay in, and I wish you the best, and please come volunteer at High Plains whenever. Thank you. Our final piece for symphonic band is Star Wars, back to John Williams, and this one has been extremely fun to play since Star Wars. Way to show up with his hooligans. Oh my gosh, this is conducted by Dark Wado.
and uh, we started rehearsals in October after a individualized audition in September. Uh, they're made up of six, seven, and eighth grade students who, uh, like I said, they not only have either concert or some symphonic band, or also Masoe or um, Honor Band, but they also chose to do jazz band. So they come in on Tuesday and Thursday mornings from 7.20 to 8 every week since uh, October pretty much, and that's pretty amazing. So give them a round of applause.
love, love this jazz band. I can't wait to see what happens with it next year. Any uh, current, but also upcoming, right? So sixth, seventh, or eighth grade band student and choir students. So we have had choir students playing this as well um, because they play maybe an alternate instrument like guitar, bass, piano, drum set, or perhaps they play trumpet and they also are in choir. Next year, our students in middle school have the option to be in band and choir. Jazz band will still remain before school, so that means you could potentially be in three musical ensembles at High Plains, and that's very exciting. Uh, just one person. That's okay. That person got an A. Um, there are a couple very, very special people uh, who come in consistently and help our jazz band, and. Um, I'm not sure I've had this much community support uh, or involvement from various places at any other district, so I'm very happy um, that we're able to pull in all these different people from very different places. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize Bryce McRoy. <laughs> Bryce is a seventh grader at Turner Middle School, and his parents are somewhere out there. Thank you, wherever you are. And it's a sea of black, so I really don't know where you are. But um, they come uh, once, sometimes twice a week, and they drive from Bertha and drop him off at High Plains before his school day starts so he can rehearse with us. And we're very lucky and happy to have him on our team. Thank you, Bryce. <laughs> Speaking of students, um, not only with our Turner Middle School student and our High Plains student, we also have Mountain View students who come and help. And one of them is here tonight. One of them is actually playing a gig, how grown up of them. And they're playing down in Longmont, but I'd like to recognize both of them, Mr. Zach Rosen and Adam Rojas. to music and arts so that they can further their musical career. Um, you have to get this to Adam because it has his name on it. So both of them have gift cards and hopefully you guys can use this for furthering your musical career. Speaking of students, we also have a CSU student who is in her sophomore. This is Emily Krogmeyer. Please stand up. <laughs> Emily Krogmeyer is a sophomore at CSU, and she is in the field of music education. So if I don't watch out, she'll be sneaking into my job. Um, but I would be happy to give it, because she is wonderful and has slipped into this role of um, being a teacher really early on, and I wish I would have done that in my college career. Had I taken um, a little more initiative to get into schools like she did as early as she did, she's gonna do wonderful. And the kids are learning a lot from her too, and she helps not only with jazz band, but also with all band programs, band day, festival, concerts, rehearsals. Um, she's also come in for elementary and help with the fifth grade band and observed for K through five music. So she's doing a lot when she doesn't have to, and um, she just volunteers her time. Thank you, Emily. And not a student, but, um, well, I shouldn't say that. Musicians are always students. We always get better. I feel like I learn every single day, and if I'm not learning something, I better pick up a new instrument and continue to learn, because that's our role as teachers, to continue to learn. Um, but we do have a wonderful music and arts representative, Mr. Rick Nicholson. When I say music and arts representative, there's a local store, but it's a nationwide chain, really. But we have a local store up in Fort Collins on Harmony. And Rick is our representative that comes to our school so that I don't have to drive up there all the time, which is amazing. But also so that our families don't have to make the trip. Um, he helps with getting music in their, on their stands and instruments in their hands, and he is a wonderful advocate for music in our schools, and he comes by and volunteers his time 
like he does not have to, but I'm always amazed that he does, uh, to play bass with our jazz band. So thank you, Rick.
to that group next year as it grows and continues to play some cool music and gigs. We are going to take a 15 minute intermission. This is so band students can put away instruments if they wish. We'll clear the stage, choir will get set and warmed up, and then we will start our choir show in about 15 minutes. Thank you. We now have the stage set for our choir students to perform. So again, this is all being video recorded. Uh, it will be available on Mrs. Lemma's YouTube, so she will send that out. So please remain present and enjoy the evening tonight. So this will be our concert choir first up.
Ta da! There it is. This made a funny sound, so we're going to try it over here. Let's see if that's better. And it's not squealing yet. Okay. Uh, this is our concert choir. They're made up of sixth grade students. Um, these students have done an amazing job this year at picking up quick gigs and doing stuff with me around town. Raise your hand if you are part of the Eagles Gang Choir. Also, all of them participated in the next thing, so they don't need to raise their hands. But we did the Thompson School District Sixth Grade Fire Festival, uh, which was a huge success, and I think that really kicked off a great school year for us and getting ready for this concert tonight. Our next song features a soloist, and her name is Charlie Schofield. Please enjoy Paw or Bird, a traditional English um, canon.
back home with us to High Plains. Speaking of High Plains, there's a lot of people out there I'd like to thank. If you are a High Plains principal like Miss Feeney, the only one, or uh, a staff member or a teacher, please stand and be recognized and thank you for being here.
Um, our middle school girls have chosen a piece and they uh, have rehearsed only together. Our middle school boys in this group uh, did the same thing. They chose a piece and they are figuring it out uh, on their own as well through rehearsal. Our ladies are singing Someone Like You by Adele. Um, and it's just beautiful. It has some, um, some split parts and some things that you'll see that uh, it really does sound like the original but with a lot of great singers. So please enjoy Someone Like You.
with a classic uh, called My Girl, which I'm sure you've heard. And they also are going to move a little bit, so please encourage them. And uh, if you know the song and you want to jump in at some point, please do. They'd love it. Here's My Girl from our boys.
appreciate you being here. Um, please thank your custodial staff on the way out. Um, pick up trash on our way out. We'll leave it better than we came. And have a great rest of your night. Thank you.